Central Bank Governor Peng Huainan said agreement on the outline of a free trade agreement between China and South Korea not only poses a challenge but also an opportunity. Peng believes the deal shows that Taiwan must do more to integrate with regional and global trade partners. At the recent APEC summit, news that China and South Korea will soon sign a free trade agreement has the Ministry of Economic Affairs expecting output valued loss of 650 billion NT dollars within three years. Today, the central bank governor offered his take at the legislature. I think this is a crisis as well as an opportunity. It gives everyone a chance to think about what we should do. It shows that we should integrate into the world economy and join regional integration. Otherwise, Taiwan's economy will weaken. The new Taiwan dollar reached a four-year low against the U.S. dollar yesterday in Taipei's foreign currency market. Legislator Lai Shibao asked whether another Asian financial crisis could be on the way. I believe that the chances are quite small. Legislator Lu Shouyan said that many Taiwanese exporters believe currency devaluation hasn't gone far enough to boost business. The new Taiwan dollar continues to maintain dynamic stability. Today, the local currency depreciated 0.033 NT dollars to end at 30.75 NT dollars against the greenback.